Hey guys, I just wanted to share a quick word of encouragement and hope to you guys. Something that happened to me um, just today. So um, I was looking at my Facebook memories and there's a picture on there from five years ago when I was in Memphis. And I was in Memphis for about five months and it was the best five months of my life before God called me here and um, if it was up to me I would have never left but God had other plans and I had to follow so but um, every time I look at pictures of me during that time it's always bittersweet because it was the best five months of my life and I miss that version of me. And so, you know, I always um, sometimes can cry. And, and I look at it, you know, just longing for that experience and that time again. And so it made me think of when I, when I saw that picture, especially the one from today. And I cried. I thought about the same thing that happened in Scripture when the temple was rebuilt. So they had to rebuild the temple because the amazing, glorious, matchless temple that King Solomon had built was completely demolished by invading armies. They came and destroyed it all. So much time went by, and then it, the Israelites came back home, and they had to rebuild. And so they the temple was rebuilt, but in a lot of people's eyes that knew and saw the former temple of Solomon, it was just a far cry from what Solomon's temple was. And so instead of being filled with hope and happiness that they were making headway and rebuilding and getting their land back, they just cried when the new temple rebuilt was complete. And... Um, God gave them a promise and God spoke to them very clearly. And so he basically said um, for them to let go, them to let go of the former temple, you're not getting it back. That is the past. You've lost it. It's not coming back. You need to let it go. But I promise you that this temple now, this rebuilt temple now, is going to be better than that temple ever was, than this te the temple of Solomon ever was. Haggai 2, um, I believe it's verse 9, when God said that the glory of this latter house will be greater than that of the former. It's going to be better. You're not going to get that back. You're not going back there. It's not ever going to be that way again. But if you trust me and if you hold on, I promise, even though it doesn't look like it right now, even though it doesn't seem like it right now, it's going to be better. And so how was it better we know that King Solomon just just pulled out all the punches and just built this glory. Everything was gold and no one had seen anything like the temple Solomon built. And in comparison, on the outside looking at it, this rebuilt temple really was not anything like the temple that Solomon built. But the reason that it became better is because over time, many Many, many, many years had passed. But one day, one glorious, amazing, unbelievable day, the creator of heaven and earth took on the form of a body of a human being, became human just like us, and stepped foot into that temple. 
So what makes a temple glorious? The gold or the God that the temple is for? And so I want to encourage you, as I've said to you, and just crying out to God, for God to just come in this temple. And make it better than it ever was before. even though I don't see how. I trust that God can do it. He's done it before so many countless times. And I pray that for you as well, that God will just make this coming season of your life better than it ever was before, even though it doesn't seem like it and you can't see how. God is a way maker.